Good day, everyone. Our literacy lesson of today will develop your listening and speaking skills. It will also help in developing your use of language and it will develop your thinking and reasoning skills. We are going to explore the similarities and the differences between sounds and pictures. So I want you to listen very carefully. Let's get started. Activity 1. Look at the following sounds and describe how they are similar and how they are different. And give me an example. Look carefully at these sounds. Yes. There we go. Yes, boys and girls. They are similar in the sound. When you pronounce the first one, it is a k. And the second one is also a k. But if you look at them, they do not look the same. You pronounce them the same, but they look different. Yes, the first one is the kicking k. And the second one is just the sound. Now let's see if we can get an example of each. Let's start with the kicking k. Kettle. Everybody say kettle. The second one cat. Cat. Kettle and cat. Yes, they sound the same but they don't look the same boys and girls. Activity 2. Now I want you to look at the following pictures and say which ones are similar and why the other pictures are different. So look carefully boys and girls. Yes, in picture 1. You will see the two cones are similar. They are the same. In picture number two, the two balls are similar. And in picture number three, the two apples are similar. That's very good. And if you look at the other two pictures, there's a dog and there's a car. There's a butterfly and there's a bell. There's a leaf and there's a boot. Activity three. Look carefully at the two pictures. And describe the differences and similarities you can see between the two pictures. So look carefully, boys and girls and moms and dads. What is different and what is similar in the two pictures? Let's try and do this. Yes, in picture number one. You can see it is a picture of the bedroom and in picture number two. So the pictures below are similar in showing items we find in a bedroom. But how are they different from each other? I hope you got it all right. Picture one is different in the following ways. Look carefully. There is no door knob. If you look at picture number two, you will see there's a knob on the door. 
There is only one container on the shelf. But in picture number two, you see two. Yes, in the drawer, there's some clothes missing. And if you look carefully at the duvets, you will see in picture number one, there's some flowers missing. And if you look at the one in picture number two, there's more flowers. So there are similarities and there are differences in these pictures. Well done, boys and girls. And in picture number two, you will see there's one of the legs missing of the bed. Good. Excellent work. For more fun, boys and girls, click on the link at the bottom of the page and find more activities to help with similarities and differences. So let's go and practice more. Till next time, everybody. Goodbye.